wanted to ask before I do, because I can look down and go, no, no. One more tap down. Because I don't want you to forget there.
Good evening. Welcome to Forest Lake Area High School's 111th commencement ceremony. At this time, I would invite you to please stand and remove your hats for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Please remain standing for the national anthem sung this evening by the Forest Lake Area High School Choir under the direction of Mr. John Guidry. Thank you. You may be seated. Dr. Massey, members of the school board, honored guests, friends, family, and most importantly, the class of 2022. It is my distinct and sincere honor to welcome you to the 111th annual Forest Lake Area High School's commencement ceremony. I am Jim Caldwell, principal of the Forest Lake Area High School. To the class of 2022, wow, what a ride. I distinctly remember our first meeting together four years ago as you entered the auditorium as the first ninth grade class at the Forest Lake Area High School. To say that you have left your mark is an understatement. To date though, this class has earned $2,330,000 in scholarships and grants. Six thousand one hundred and fifty eight confirmed hours of volunteer service. Six conference titles, eight team section titles, ten team championships at state with one coming tomorrow. Sixty eight individual state tournament appearances and two individual state championships. Impressive. There are many words that come to mind to describe the class of 2022, but none fits this group better than the word persevere. According to Webster's online dictionary, persevere is to persist in a state of enterprise or undertaking in spite of counter influences, opposition, 
or discouragement. As a class, you have persevered through being the first ninth grade class to walk the halls of the Forest Lake Area High School and Community Schools, the first round of COVID-19 during your 10th and 11th grade year, in person, distance learning, hybrid, wait in person, distance learning, how many models can we take? The Omicron variant, are we in school? Are we out of school? Do we wear masks or no masks? Competing in sports with very few, if little, fans in the stands and being the first group to reestablish many long-standing traditions, such as homecoming week, dances, prom, award ceremonies, spectators at events, I could go on and on. More importantly, you have persevered in ways that have left your mark on the communities that make up Ranger territory and our schools forever. You are the class that through your perseverance helped to bring normalcy back into our schools. Through your perseverance, you set the bar high for your underclassmen, your teachers, your parents, and your community. You have led by example and persevered in ways that only you know and only you will be able to share for years from now. As every generation before you, you have a story to tell. Yours is one of perseverance in the face of adversity because despite all of that, because despite all of that has been thrown at you, you have persevered and will soon be accepting your diploma. Class of 2022, thank you for being you, for persevering in the face of adversity and for bringing back normalcy to our schools. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite our four student speakers to the stage, Allison Johnson, Jack Eilenfeldt, Adam Dissler, and Abigail Liegeld. They will be sharing their thoughts and reflections of the class of 2022. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. Abigail Liegeld. Abigail will be attending Michigan Techno Technological University, where she will be majoring in biomedical engineering. Abby. Words, the very things I am currently speaking. Forest Lake High School graduating class of 2022. While I might sound like an English teacher, I am here to remind you that words are important. Words give thanks. Thank you for being here today. Navigating the past four years has not been easy for Superintendent Massey, Principal Caldwell, school board members, teachers, administrators, guardians, family members, friends, and fellow students. So congratulations to all of us for making it to this point. And please join me in giving those individuals a round of applause for their diligence in ensuring we have the necessary tools to continue our journey. <laughs> Words invoke memories. Memories such as COVID, the abbreviated word that resulted in learning through a computer screen, not seeing friends, limited social interaction, and missing special occasions like homecoming, prom, and sporting events. Let's forget that word. Memories such as Egg Day, winning the homecoming football game, Beth the Bethel concert, and AP exam day. Each of these phrases represent a variety of emotions, significant preparation, and life lessons learned, affecting whom we have become. Words have impact. The words you choose will influence those whom they are spoken to and written for, and those who hear or read them. Proverbs 15.4 states, gentle words bring life and health, a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Whether the consequences of the words you use are positive or negative is up to you. Choose wisely. Class of 2022, use your words. 
Use your words to speak up when it feels like you're bearing the weight of the world alone. Use your words to comfort those around you. Help them navigate their troubles and celebrate their successes. Use your words to lift others up and encourage them to chase their dreams. Use your words to work together with coworkers, friends, and family, persevering to better communicate. Use your words to be kind to the Starbucks barista, as we all know they have to deal with groggy high schoolers while they wait for their morning caffeine. Use your words to build relationships with others and learn their stories, not burn bridges. Use your words to give yourself encouragement. We could all use a bit more confidence and believing in ourselves. Use your words to create a movement and leave a positive, lasting legacy in whichever community you desire. However, remember to cite the words of others when referencing them, otherwise you would be plagiarizing. Equally important as using your words, listen to others' words with an open mind. Fellow students, my point is, use your words to make your life and others' lives better. If we have learned anything, it is that we cannot thrive on this journey called life alone, and that when we work together, we can accomplish amazing feats. So here are my parting words to you. I believe in you, class of 2022. Chase your dreams, be an inspiration, and lead your communities. Make a difference in your life, others' lives, in this world. Take my word for it, use your words, and get started. Thank you, Abby. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Adam Disler. Adam will be attending the University of Wisconsin at Madison, where he plans on majoring in mathematics and astrophysics. Adam. Firstly, I'd like to commend our class of 22 for making it to the end of our high school journey. Some of you I was not so sure about, but you made it nonetheless. This is the culmination of four years of hard work, and although we are in isolation for almost half of it, we are not alone in our journey. I would like to thank Principal Caldwell, Superintendent Massey, and the school board for making this whole event possible. I would like to also thank our teachers, custodians, parents, administrators, and everyone else who helped develop us into people we can be proud of. This is not my first time speaking to a graduating class. Shout out to all the Linwood kids here today. As I'm sure Mr. Caldwell remembers my sixth grade graduation speech. I assure you, this won't be as much of a circus as last time. It will be worse. Today, as we think back about the past four years, I think we can all agree that our high school experience did not go as planned. College acceptances, standardized testing, and even our methods of learning had to be thought about differently, which gave our graduating class a unique perspective at Forest Lake High School. Often, changes can seem uncomfortable and downright scary, but I believe that changes can open new doors and opportunities. As the first freshman to ever experience Forest Lake High School, we definitely made an impact. I mean, someone had to set a record number of referrals during Ranger time. But since our first day, where I know we spent most of our time lost, wandering the halls, we have transformed and changed into leaders and trailblazers. Since we were the first ninth graders ever released into, I mean to attend Forsyth High School, we had to adapt and find our place into this hostile and savage environment. It was difficult for some of us to fit in, but let's ask ourselves, would we really have preferred to say middle schoolers? Being surrounded with older role models gave us opportunities to mature and grow into the people we are today. Halfway through our 10th grade year, I remember getting the email about our super fun extended spring break. However, we did not think that this vacation would last over half of the coming year and affect our whole way of life. But I do believe that there were opportunities present even in this pandemic. Many of us found new friends, hobbies, and even changed our whole career path during this time. We found ways to learn and avoid homework in a completely unprecedented way, giving us the skills necessary for the coming future. We also learned tolerance and self-control. 
as those were both difficult to practice while being at home with your parents 24-7. Some of us found new ways to interact with and help our community through organizations and other efforts. As I look across the crowd, I see doctors, scientists, and engineers. But I also see, see people that are not recognized enough. Our electricians, welders, and especially our military service members. Those groups often don't get the limelight here at graduation. So I'd like to personally thank those tradespeople and soldiers who keep our country running and safe. Can we get a round of applause for them? But with the world moving at an accelerating rate, we need to realize that the plans we set in stone crumble in just a few years. Instead, we need to be more like Play-Doh, malleable and adaptable to different situations and conditions. Being able to persevere and adjust to whatever the world throws at us is something we have practiced repeatedly over these last few years. Change is usually thought of as something that happens to us, but we need to realize it's possible for us to change things too. Each of us has the power to make our life and our world into something we can be proud of. After we leave today, let's remember that we have been pioneers and changers this whole time. And let's continue that into whatever path we decide to take. Considering what we have been through, we can make anything happen. Thank you, Adam. Our final student speakers for the evening are Ms. Allison Johnson and Mr. Jack Eilenfeld. Allison will be attending the University you know, the, the, I can talk. <laughs> Allison will be attending the University of Wisconsin at Madison, where she will be majoring in agricultural business and management. Jack, on the other hand, will be attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and majoring in nursing. I wonder what will happen to this friendship. Allison and Jack. Good afternoon, Rangers. I'm Allison Johnson. And I'm Jack Eilenfeld. And we're here with your graduation, graduation speech. speech. Jack, who would have thought 15 years ago when we were together as two and three-year-olds in preschool that we would be standing up here together welcoming members of the school board, Superintendent Massey, Principal Caldwell, and most importantly, the, the graduating, graduating class of 2022. 2022. <laughs> Actually, we don't know why we're here. We are not your valedictorians. But we are JV Boys Tennis All-Stars. <laughs> it's not like you ever listen to us do announcements, so we thought we could get your attention here. Getting to be here tonight is a huge accomplishment. I know most of us wouldn't have been able to make it here tonight if it weren't for those people that had supported us in our lives. First, a thank you to our amazing teachers and administration. They have been there not only to help us excel academically, but also as a role model and a person to give us advice on our journeys. Next, a thank you to our friends and peers. Our friends have been there for us as supporters when we were really going through it or even as just someone to rant to. Lastly, a big thank you to our families and guardians. All of us will be forever grateful for the love, support, and compassion that you have shown us. We spent the last six months of our lives constantly trying to find excuses to leave the high school. I will admit, I did have to write a few passes to just to relieve myself of the school day. Yet, we had some of the best teachers, amazing administration, and diverse peers. We were also given opportunities that many children across the world would die for. I mean, the school loved us so much, they gave us dunkers every day for an entire year. <laughs> Class of 2022, we have been through a lot. We face a pandemic, online learning, hybrid learning, and all the struggles that came with that. This time, we spent mostly alone. For some, it was boring, eye-opening, and a perfect way to discover who we are and who we were. With this time for self-reflection, some of us chose to binge watch Netflix. Others dyed their hair. And some chose to do the healthy option and take up a new hobby. But it forced us to find the pieces of ourselves that we liked, and this made us stronger. We'll forever share the experiences made during COVID and throughout high school. So when moving on to the next step, make sure you are able to take with you the good parts and shed those that damage your character. Since we have been together, we have all been shaping our identity and what we are known for. Me? I was known for being, well, the really loud girl to most underclassmen. 
Some of you were the classic geek, others the cool kids, or even a truck driving maniac. But as we take a step off this stage, entering the unknown, what we have been known for is wiped clean. We have the opportunity of leaving this stage tonight and becoming whoever we choose to be in our futures. Lucky enough for many of you, your middle school days are only known to that of the Forest Lake student body. If we have held your attention for this long, Allison and I want to be able to leave you with at least one thing. It's to always remember to embrace one another and lead with kindness, which will allow you to become the best version of yourself. Well, moving forward, it's important to remember to embrace your closest friends and family and don't take for granted the most day-to-day -day moments. We have made it to the point in our lives everyone believes is so far away. Well, it's finally here. As we move forward into our futures and the unknown, think about where we have all been as individuals and as a class. Think about what you want to take with you as you walk off this stage tonight and what you plan to leave behind. And just like every other speech, here's a quote. As Doja Cat once said, be whatever you want to be. And for the last time, Happy Graduation Day, Rangers! Thank you, Allison and Jack. Tonight, to announce tonight's commencement speaker, introduce, I would like to introduce Mr. Neil Fox, principal of Columbus Elementary School. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Mr. Caldwell. You do an amazing job. I really appreciate you. For 25 years, I've had the privilege of leading Columbus Elementary where Dan Winkleman is an absolute legend. Dan Winkleman is retiring from Forest Lake Area Schools this year after an amazing 50 years of teaching third grade in our school district. Almost all of that time at Columbus Elementary. Dan has taught three generations of third graders who each have fond memories of his engaging lessons he presented daily. Over the last 50 years, Dan has developed a love, passion, and commitment to making students simply successful, every child, every day. His efforts and dedication to the teaching profession have made a remarkable impact on 50 years of Columbus Elementary students, including some of you in this graduating class today, and even some of you parents in the stands. Tonight, he shares some thoughts and lessons learned throughout his life and his incredible 50-year career in education, Mr. Dan Winkleman. Thank you, Dr. Massey, school board members, Principal Jim Caldwell, and Principal Neil Fox, the class of 2022, for the privilege of speaking with you. I am honored and humbled to be able to speak to you as you prepare to leave high school. I want to say a special hello to my former students who are here today and not only those students, but the ones who are in the audience. Might be parents or maybe grandparents. <laughs> As was mentioned, I just completed 50 years of teaching. Wow, that seems like an unbelievably long time. Bear with me as we take a memory walk back in time. To give you a little perspective, 50 years ago, when I started teaching, my salary was $7,200 a year. No, not a month, a whole year. Teaching was very different when I started than it is now. For instance, we did not have computers, scanners, copy machines, or printers in the classrooms. We used something called mimeograph machines. 
Now, if you don't know what a mimeograph machine is, you might want to check that out in your phone tonight. <laughs> and we used overhead projectors, of which I was one of the last ones to let go. There were no smart boards, just a green chalkboard and white chalk. Now, we did have some things that you young ones probably are accustomed to. We did have social media. Sure we did. We gathered together in the media center and socialized. <laughs> Social media. And tweeting was very common. We'd just step outside and listen to the birds. In all seriousness, I believe I have an important message for you tonight. So bear with me as I unpack it with you. You see, 18 years ago, around the time some of you were born, I was eligible to retire with full benefits. But just because I could didn't mean that I should. And as I faced the important decision, I looked at many other factors. Even though I could retire, my love for teaching, students, staff members, and the opportunities to use the gifts and talents that God has given me was a major factor in my decision making. You see, just because I could didn't mean I should. Had I retired 18 years ago, for instance, I would have missed the profound blessing of having some of you as my students. When faced with choices in life, how do you know which decisions you should make? Columbus Elementary students might remember that there are eight words printed on banners hanging from the ceiling throughout our hallways. Perhaps you had similar words hanging in your building. These words were character traits that we wanted our students to practice and character traits that will serve you well throughout your adult life after graduation. These words are citizenship, kindness, tolerance, honesty, perseverance, self-control, responsibility, and respect. I'd like to take a look at each of these character traits briefly with you as you prepare to embark on this new journey. Let's start with citizenship. Citizenship is more than civics lessons or politics. It's about learning how to work well with others and achieve goals that are more important than one person's individual success. There have been many school years when I've taught a class full of students with very strong leadership personalities. And even though leadership is a great quality, if you have too many of those leaders in your class, they tend to clash with one another and get into disagreements and it can actually hinder progress. Sometimes we have to know when to take a stand, when to step back, and only one who can do this. Have good citizenship and be part of the bigger... <clears throat> the Bible says... Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. This is what makes good citizens. Kindness and tolerance are two other words that hang in our hallways. And these two words often go hand in hand. Kindness, of course, is the quality of being concerned for the consideration of others. To be precise, it means to be friendly, generous, considerate and showing to concern for others without expecting praise or reward. Jennifer Dukes Lee said, and many of us have heard this, in the world where you can be anything, be kind. Tolerance is the ability to endure things that bother you and to extend grace toward those who don't think or act the way you want them to. Miriam Webster defines tolerance as sympathy, or indulgence for beliefs or practices differing from or conflicting with one's own. Culture often defines tolerance as agreeing to believe the same way. This is not the true meaning of tolerance. On your journey in life, you will meet many people with differing values and beliefs than you. Tolerance may mean agreeing to disagree agreeably. It's important to extend kindness and tolerance to others. It's also important to be kind to yourself. You don't have to be perfect. 
You're just starting out in your adult life, and you're going to make mistakes along the way. In 50 years of teaching, I've seen lots of mistakes and lots of wrong answers. But I see those mistakes in graduating, er, in grading student papers. I often just write not yet. The answer isn't correct yet, but I have faith that my students can get it if they work hard and learn from their mistakes. And I have faith in you as graduates that you can do anything you set your mind to if you will work hard and learn from your mistakes. When mistakes come, and remember, they will. Just get up again and keep trying. Thomas Edison was known to say, I've not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that don't work. And stated a different way, he said, I never view mistakes as failures. They are simply opportunities to find out what doesn't work. I encourage you to view your future with that lens. Using mistakes as a classroom lesson to learn from. Of course, at some point, you do need to get beyond that yet and understand where you need to be and figure out how to get there. That takes honesty, another character trait. How do you act when no one is looking? Honesty and truthfulness are facets of moral character. It also means integrity, a refusal to lie, steal, deceive, and cheat in any way. It involves being trustworthy, loyal, fair, and sincere. This surely can be hard at times, but being honest will always lead to the best path for you. Benjamin Franklin said, honesty is the best policy. Honesty helps in developing attributes like discipline, kindness, truthfulness, and moral integrity, to name a few. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. Honesty is also admirable across the globe. An honest person is respected by all. It is an essential requirement in this day and age. An honest person surely stands out in a crowd and is a valued character trait in the world in which we live, to be sure. If you're honest with yourself and others, you'll have the tools to find the type of success you can truly be proud of and live a life without fear or regret. Of course, finding success is not always easy, and that's where perseverance comes in. Perseverance means steadfasting, steadfastness in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Sometimes we are called to persevere through a difficulty for a long time before we see any results. But in the process, our character is refined don't short-circuit the process. Commit to allowing perseverance to finish its work so that you will be mature and complete, ready for what is next for you. If we short-circuit this perseverance process, we will not be ready for what is next. When I was your age, I didn't start out with plans to be a teacher. You might find that pretty surprising. I graduated from college with a degree that qualified me to work in church ministry. What I found out when I graduated is that no one was hiring at that time in that particular field. I was married and didn't have the option to go very long without a job. I had to be honest about my prospects and create a new plan. I went back to school for two more years, got a teaching degree. I persevered even though it wasn't easy. And 50 years later, I am truly glad I did. And don't think of 74 years of age as a retired teacher. I'm done, reti I'm done persevering. For a person who started out using mimeograph machines and learning how to navigate technology as it became a prominent teaching tool, the last couple of years through COVID and distance learning have been quite a challenge. But I never stop learning and figuring out how to do new things. And I never will. Even if that means learning how to use Google Classroom on two weeks' notice. <laughs> I could have retired when COVID first hit. That surely would have been an easier path, but I didn't. Again, just because I could didn't mean that I should. I took responsibility for myself, for my students, and my class, 
And we all did our part in making the next year of learning through COVID work as well as it could. Responsibility means come owning your own life choices and making new ones to get yourself back on the right track if needed. Back in 2000, I completed an administrative degree with thoughts of taking a principal position. As I applied for positions, again it appeared over the years that God was closing that door. Again, just because I couldn't doesn't mean I should. And sometimes we have to take responsibility, look at opportunities or close doors before us, and make decisions accordingly. And don't let the little things hold you back. Another character trait, self-control. The ability to act and make decisions based on what's smart, rather than what you might feel like doing in the moment. Self-control is the restraint exercised over one's impulses and emotions. In this fast-paced, immediate gratification culture we live in, self-control can be a challenge. It sometimes means bypassing a good option today for a better option in the future. Practicing self-control can help you make many little smart decisions every day that add up to a better life. Because it's the little things that often trip us up. I remember one of my former students who never had his shoelaces tied. I reminded him several times, please tie your shoelaces. Please tie your shoelaces. But he was never all that interested in tying them. Then one day, this poor guy tripped on his shoelace and fell headlong into an easel in my room. Put a gash just above his eye and had to go to the doctor for stitches. Sometimes the little decisions can make a big impact on our lives. So stop, think, and make the right choice. And finally, respect others. Again, I think it's important to define what respect actually means. Respect means to hold in esteem or honor. We don't have to agree with everyone nor do they have to agree with us in order to show respect. Respect and honor others as we are all created in God's image. Each year I get a class list with 25 to 30 new names. I learn those names as quickly as I can, even the ones that are hard to pronounce, because names matter. And it's a sign of respect to call my students by their names and say it correctly. In my classroom, I've always felt that just because I'm the teacher doesn't mean that I make all the decisions. We make decisions together in my classroom. And you might think that's a little crazy with a bunch of eight and nine-year-old third graders, but they can do it. I only teach. The kids do the work and they love it. We respect each other and we listen to each other. So what does this have to do with you? You're not one of my third graders and you're not anywhere near retirement like me. Why should you listen to this old, seasoned, wise grandfather tonight? Mm -hmm. You are on the threshold of a plethora of opportunities before you. In life, you will, find, you will face choices, and your decisions need to be based on more factors than simply the fact that the choice is available to you. Some choices before you are seemingly trivial, what you will have for dinner, whether you will buy a Chevy or a Ford. Many choices before you are significant, like where you live, or, wh or who will you marry, or what you will do for a living, and some will have long-lasting consequences. How will you navigate these choices? It is my hope that you will remember the character words that I shared with you tonight and that hang in our hallways. The bottom line is character matters. May you allow these character traits of respect, honesty, self-control, kindness, tolerance, citizenship, responsibility, and perseverance to develop in you and guide you in your decision making. Also be a good listener. Be a bit slow to speak and quick to listen. You will learn much as you listen to others. You've also heard me use the phrase, just because I can, doesn't mean I should. Several times these last few minutes we've shared together. Now I believe this is very important for you to take on your journey. As I stated earlier, 
you face a plethora of choices on the path ahead. Just because it's permissible does not mean it's beneficial for you. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. So stop, think, and make the right choice. This is an exciting time for you. I wish you all the best as you embark on this journey. You have all the skills necessary to be successful in whatever you pursue. Best wishes to you of class of 2022, and may God bless you. Staff, take a deep breath. I'm going to go a little off script. I want to do a little social experiment. It's okay. Those of you that have had Mr. Winkleman in this stadium or in the crowd or somebody in your family has had Mr. Winkleman, please stand up. This man deserves a standing ovation. You may be seated. Thank you, Mr. Winkleman, from the bottom of our hearts. If we could only live up to your... Graduates, it's your time. Dr. Massey, Board President Peterson, and the rest of the Forest Lake Area School Board, at this time, together with Kelly Lafine, Principal of the Forest Lake Area Community School, it is our honor and privilege to present to you the Class of 2022 having met all of the graduation requirements set forth by the Forest Lake Area School Board and the State of Minnesota. Please prepare the stage for the awarding of diplomas.
Ladies and gentlemen, the first graduate of the class of 2022, Hussein Bashir Abdi. Joseph Daniel Adamek. James Robert Christensen. Kristen Lynn Arola. Evan Cole Dorsey. Wyatt James Bennett. Tyler Duxon. Amanda Gail Akis. Hannah May Greenhow. Victoria Marie Ball. Matthew Ty Grisbeck. Derek Joseph Babineau. Isaiah William Lindgren. Lillian Elizabeth Aragani. Grant Douglas Rudford. Cooper William Oje. Dominic James Finley. Aaron Grace Blumenthal. Rafael Danel Brazil Jr. Gabriella June Arntzen. Mackenzie Grace Carpenter. Georgia Benedetti. Mallory May Darling. Amelia June Amley. Emma Leanne Lafori. Jenna Ray Rosemary Bateman. Abigail Lund. Nicholas Paul Avalalamont. Gage David Lund. Mason Michael Anderson. Paul Vincent Lutz. Mason Andrew Anderson. Charlotte Lee. Kyle Jonathan Blanchard. Christian Joseph James Lydeen. Nicholas Anthony Bartlett. Reese William Maz. Omar Abdesalan Aden. Daniel James Makowick. Shalani Aragon Flores. Cameron Violet Mager. Daniel Joseph Berg. Leanna Marie Mahan. Tanner Lawrence Benson. Callie Ann Malik. Alyssa Grace Burgum. Ava Marie Malrick. Baron James Blum. Isabella Rose Mancini. Mackenzie May Bile. Miles Walker Mann. Cole Caleb Brisboy. Joshua Thomas Manny. Brian Thomas Bordenave. Carly Lynn Martins. Noah Harlow James Bottom. Destiny Rose Meslowski. Theodore James Carey. Delaney May Maston. Anna Marie Brand. Jared A. Mayorga Camacho. Yeah. Catherine May Bodewins. Yeah. Jacob Carter McConnell. Yeah. Hannah Audrey Brandvold. Yeah. Trayvon Javon McRae. Yeah. Connor Allen Broughton. Yeah. Samantha Ann McCullough. Kylie Jean Broughton. Abigail Grace McElroy. Zoe Lee Broughton. Colin Timothy McGeary. 
Ellie Rose Brown. Tierney Carmichael McJames. Alyssa Marie Bouchard. Emily Renee McPhee. Matthew Todd Boney Jr. Samuel David Moberg. Marcus Anthony Bump. Sophia Renee Nelson. Michael Patrick Kalen. Logan Anthony Myers. Zachary Alexander Kalen. Jordan Paige Munkholm. Brady Thomas Campbell. Ava Marie Elizabeth Neuer. Ashlyn Noel Bertek. Ella Marion Nisnik. Ashley Ray Brelia. Marissa Ann Melton. Megan Noreen Brown. Jasmine Bethany Neeson. Erin Helene Brown. Caitlin Margaret Ness. Alexis Ann Brisson Jennings. Carissa Rose Nelson. Emma Grace Bookwalter. Samuel Ryan North. Xavier Christian DeWolf. Savannah Lauren Namey. Adam Robert Cully. Gavin Scott Middendorf. Jonathan Michael Cubis. Hannah Nicole Melander. Bryce Allen Corbett. Jordan Michael Nelson. Emma Rose Collier. Ryan Wayne Minder. Peyton Todd Christensen. Taryn Noel Moulton. Jack Richard Colburn. Sydney Elizabeth Moffat. Alan Joseph Deebly. Ella Michelle Nimchik. Benjamin Patrick Consemius. Ty Patrick Newbull. Tanner Frank Damon. Taylor Ray Miller. Aaron K. Christensen. Alec James Noha. Caitlin Joe Christensen. Natalie Marie Ostrake. Gracie Joe Carpenter. Lauren Nichelle Olson. Quasi Michael DeCruz. Mia Maria Odrioso Lacanso. Nicholas Allen Christensen. Peyton Margaret Plant. Joseph Michael Cook. Keenan Gregory Olson. Isabel Nicole Castilleja. Traven James Olson. Danelle Jean Decker. Travis Joseph Poforo. Alyssa Lou Clemens. Charles Martin Peterson. Ashley Ann Cloud. Antonio David Plates. Nicholas Robert Chiden. Ryan Robert Olson. Tristan Smith Carrick. Isaac R. Ottomeyer. Brandon Michael Carter. Brandon Joseph Payment. Madeline Gwen Carroll. Alma Ozagovic. Evan Lewis DeZurich. 
Chloe Evelyn Pope. Nicholas Alexander Ely. Jace Allen Petermeyer. Noah Robert Erickson. Elizabeth Lee Peters. Adam John Disler. Arlene Lorraine Peterson. Hugh Dolliver Drinkwitz. Alana Carolyn May O'Brien. Katie Jo Du Bois. Taylin Augusta Peterson. Martina Fistetti. Taryn Anna Maya Peterson. Jaden Irene Dokniak. Jacqueline Polito. Sadie May Furter. Kendra Joy Pratt. Ava, Ava Damari Dufresne. Greta Rose Reifschneider. Jill Isabel DuPaul. Jack Dalton Rowe. Amber Regina Donaski. Jack Thomas Proger. Ryan John Eichen. Gavin Jeffrey Rustad. Zachariah Abduali Farah. Nolan Allen Paleo. Tyler J. Fechner. Mason Scott Rayner. Zachary David Ernst. Brianna Marie Rothmeyer. Andrew John Erkenbrack. Andrew Jack Reif. Grace Ellen Erickson. Zachary Clayton Rao. Lauren Elizabeth Eddy. Anthony James Rink. Samuel Carter Dunlap. Luke Michael Ryan. Jacob Robert Drury. Carson Anthony Ring. Grace Ann Marie Frechette. Natalie Alexis Rebeline. Savannah Rose Flagstad. Lydia Lavon Ross. Jonna Marie Gaynor. Noah James Roth. Brooke Carolyn Glumack. Jordan Howard Ronane. Daniel David Fratalone. Keely Elizabeth Cisco. Jack Robert Gruntner. Madeline Lee Sandstrom. Carter Tyler Furlong. Vivian Louise Schmoll. Christian Carl Foss. Ander Segara Latcano. Jacob Christopher Ford. Timothy Lyle Scheel. Cody Allen Frericks. Ethan Wade Seavers. Sarah Grace Frazel. Lauren Nellie Skulski. Anthony Joseph Farrar. Allie Mae Sibold. Nico Gallegos. Thomas Rob Schwartzbauer. Bree McKenna Fountain. Dominic James Scott. Austin Allen Green. Ian Scott Schaefer. Bailey Daniel Gregorich. Charlie John Siebenhaller. Sean Nicholas Ford. Tyler James Scott. Matthew John Fredrickson. Mason James Saltz. Maya Milan Gomez. 
Jordan Lee Sodrin. Daniel Joseph Glazek. Kyle Steven Schroeder. Logan Christopher Gagliardo. Caden Curtis Smith. Tyler John Hantho. Corinne Elizabeth Sogard. Brooklyn Faith Hansen. Karen Holly Severson. John Patrick Hageman. Brenda Pena Saldivar. Cameron Robert Hagland. Andrew John Sapp. Aiden Joseph Head. Gavin Thomas Thompson. Brandon David Hankey. Alexander Michael Telvedy. Ethan Patrick Hayes. Jack Bryce Wentkowski. Kyle Edward Hendrickson. Dylan Anthony Severson. Tate Jamison Hagel. Zachary Allen Severson. Gavin Israel Hazeltine. Jamison Neil Stiggy. Samantha Nicole Hayek. Hayden David Swanson. Analia Reina Hernandez. Josefina A. Thompson. Jacob Gordon Henry. Jasmine Rose Stewart. Annika Sydney Gunderson. <laughs> Bailey Cynthia Thomas. Thank you. Hunter Krzyzewski Haynes. Annabelle Rose Stang. Olivia Faye Headley. Viva B. Tao. Marissa Ann Hefty. Dantavius Stapleton. Marissa Kathleen Hagland. Elsa Alice Tempty. Mia Gazetti. Leah Victoria Streff. Michaela Jo Leanne Herman. Amber Nicole Stevens. Josue Guerrero. <laughs> Hannah K. Stebbleton. Ashton C. Her. Anna Rose Strupp. Allison Christine Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Roberta Kaylee Stranke. Nice job. Jack John Eilenfeld. Yeah. Yeah. Noah Adam Stenstrom. Yeah. Mackenzie Faith Johnson. Yeah. Roy Thomas Stewart. Yeah. Riley Paul Jankowski. Hunter Adam Stevens. Sydney Joe Hestekan. Maximus Gustav Steffens. Lily Mae Johnson. J.D. Monhe Swanson. Jacqueline Roberta Johnson. Amber Jacqueline Toki. Deborah Michelle Johnson. Tarek James Thomas. Alexis Christine Hoekstra. Andrew John Weber. Ethan Mitchell Hirsch. Sophia Lee Villela. Alexander Benjamin Howard. Sierra Rose Walaszek. Lucas Stephen Hool. Ashlyn Grace Vetch. Samuel Michael Hoppy. Allie Mae Vetch. Joseph David James. Emma Jo Volkanot. Evan Lewis Jocks. 
Ashley Christine Wirt. Brady Allen Jarris. Stephanie Ann Winky. Jasmine Rose Holton. Rochelle Annette Valente Barron. Charles Michael Johnson. Daniel Oliver Ward. Danielle Lynn Hoppenrath. Jenna Violet Warmbold. Devin Ryan Johnson. Isabella Elise Vieira. Benjamin Daniel Jasinski. Allison Elizabeth Voltz. Autumn Marie Jotblatt. Joe Eldon Warmbold. Natalie Lynn Kampshoff. Chameng Vang. Courtney Ellen Knudsen. Nicholas David Tucci. Aliyah Kurlmeyer. Luke Patrick Cheetah. Bailey Roger Kasprovich. David Vang. Henry Lee Kirkow. Cody Benjamin Veneman. Andrew David Kruger. William Jameson Tudor. Dylan John Lacoste. Katiana Lee Zach. Jacob Raymond Kirkide. Jacqueline Ray Wynn. Joseph Matthew Knudsen. Franklin Rumel Woolley. Leo Joseph Cresson. Mitchell Robert Zemke. Greta Ann Krieger. Hannah Faye Winnick. Jack Daniel Keyes. Dustin Yang Cha Yang. Bruce Paul Kurth the Third. Charlie Yang. Eric John Walter Kittleson. Ocean Sia Yang. Josephine Lynn Kessel. Zhang Gao Yang. Emma Jean Kraus. Pa Rose Zhang. Joshua Allen Keister. William Lester Whitledge. Heather Ann Francis Kaup. Jenna Yang. Jackson Thomas Crinky. Caleb Michael Whitehill. Matthew James Keener. Kylie Elizabeth Woods. Alexander Adam Corby. Elijah Mungkong Yang. Jocelyn Key Koo. Jill Farron Whitney. Andrew David Lemire. Cage Michael Witzel. Liana Marie Larrick. Matthew Ryan Winkleman. Josephine Victoria Lairdall. Anna Therese Ludke. Sydney Paige Lowe. Nathan Michael Lopez. Maris Louise Lapointe. Jordan Paul LaRue. Matthew Arnold Linder Jr. Oh, you guys. Brandon Douglas Larson. Ruby Jean Lemire. Anthony James Lee. Grace Evelyn Libel. 
Abigail Mary Leijold. Nicholas Troy Livgard. Joseph Kenneth Leijold. Alex Stephen Lofgren. Mary Allison Lander. Tate David Lovis. Morgan Grace Larrabee. Ethan Christopher Lay. Kennedy Kathleen Lemke. Zainab Jade Luger. Graduates, wait for it. Parents and family, you are welcome down to the field in just a second as soon as we finish up. No beach ball. Graduating class of 2022, congratulations. Throw your hats. Again, family, you are welcome on the football field. There's gates on either side. Come take pictures and enjoy. Have a great night, everyone.